every time I come home from any trip, like the Eastern Sierra calls my name, and I feel so rooted and grounded when I'm here. My parents met in Mammoth in the 70s, and I think realized how special this place really is. My brother and I were raised going to the mountain, and it became a passion of mine, obviously, and something that I was lucky enough to turn into a career. As winter approaches, it's like this undeniable excitement and energy because we know like that's where our deepest passion is in skiing and snowboarding. It always gets us really excited to load up the van and go on that first trip. My name is Kimmy Fasani. I'm a professional snowboarder. I live in Mammoth Lakes, California, and this is our son, Koa Benchetler. He's eight months old. And I'm Chris Benchetler, and behind us here is the Stealthy Marmot. It is a 2016 Mercedes Sprinter van. In 2016, Scott Smith and I built out the van for a GoPro project. We were planning to travel all the way to Alaska, but the winter wasn't that great in Alaska, so we stopped in interior British Columbia and, yeah, just skied and surfed and rock climbed our way up, up the coast. The trip to Alaska was my very first trip in the van. We anticipated very cold conditions and very wet, moist conditions, so we essentially built it like a boat. It's all marine grade ply, it's all very wet and moisture proof and very well insulated and super warm. Together we've kind of gotten more and more into rock climbing and surfing and have these other passions that are very conducive to having a van. It's been really nice to just slow ourselves down and enjoy the time together and it's not chasing storms as much, it's going and posting up and letting the storm cycle come to you and kind of waiting it out and just slowing down. We treat the back like a garage essentially. We have three dr massive drawers and they're all on ambulance guides so they're weighted to like 500 pounds I think and they're all locking drawer guides so they don't come flying open when we're driving. Ski and board locker, all that goes there and everything's marine grade ply so it's fully waterproof. And then boots are here and we have an outlet here so we can plug in boot dryers if need be. My brother's actually an environmental engineer and he designed a whole UV filtration system so we could fill up out of rivers and streams. And then this is our outdoor shower here. It's a six foot hose and then I have just like a little curtain that I string across here if we need privacy, but more often than not, we just use it after surfing. And yeah, the ceiling is all reclaimed wood. I think uh, Scotty got most of that wood up in Tahoe and then he built this beautiful ceiling mosaic. There's eyelets in the ceiling that we can drop down and string a rope across to put a longboard if you need it inside. Here's the inside board rack. I can kind of fit two boards there, no problem, and still sleep comfortably. And then this is a board Rob Machado actually shaped for me for the GoPro project I did when I first got the van, and still my favorite board. That thing's super fun. This is how we dry out all of our outerwear and stuff. I use some old carabiners. You just line them up here, and as you close this, this bungee cord sucks it against the wall and it just drips straight into the floor pan. So yeah, this is the kitchen. We got a fridge freezer here. Two burner stove top. Propane tank is where the spare tire rack was. And then yeah, these are just some photos from our travels. We have a little mini printer that you can print Polaroids off your phone. So we just kind of switch them out as we keep adventuring. This is probably my favorite piece Scotty used reclaimed wood and redid my old man winter painting that I had, and that's our dining room table. We have two 90 watt solar panels up on the roof. And this is kind of the mainframe mothership. This <laughs> controls everything. As we went into early summer, we found out we were pregnant and we hadn't set up a bench in the car for a baby. We wanted something that was semi-permanent, but we didn't want to add another captain's chair. We wanted to be able to still have our little kitchen space the way it was. And Scotty, who built the van, him and I like marinated on how we wanted that to look, and she was just 
policing us in terms of safety and making sure we, we met all necessary uh, safety requirements. We came up with an idea of putting a car seat in the floor so it's actually bolted into the floor. The existing hole pattern for where the seat was. So it's using like the tested frame, like where they had a seat bolted. When we get somewhere, if we're posting up for a few days, you just I just have a, a socket wrench in there and I just remove all four bolts and you can take the whole seat out and then you have the floor just as it was with four tiny little holes. When you leave the hospital, they have to approve your car seat and I was staying in the van in the parking lot <laughs> at, the hospital. at the hospital so she could get like a proper night's sleep. Our pediatrician, she was like, this is the most bomber car seat I've ever seen. So I think we did the job. Koa left the hospital in the van in the car seat. The Grateful Dead reached out about a collaboration and so I wanted to change the look of the van to, to do a new project this winter. Skywalker and I collaborated and, and we painted a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood, put a vinyl wrap on the van. We just took dead inspiration, lots of skulls, that a big steal your face is on it obviously and then he always likes to paint Mother Nature and I have painted a lot of Old Man Winter and that's kind of been our theme through our collaboration so we kept those intact and then just kind of went to town and got super detailed and a little bit creative and trippy with it and it was it was fun. As a family it's just really exciting to think as Koa starts getting older and can really embrace where we're going. We're really excited to take it along the coast and spend time along the coast and take it to climbing destinations and spend time there and really be able to settle down as a family and know that Time is, um, time is well spent. One of the biggest advantages of having a van for us as a family and also as a new mom was just being able to get outside. And I think some of the hardest parts for me right when we had Koa were um, leaving the house. You know, there's so many routine things that you have to do, but as soon as you walk out the door, you feel so much better and nothing matters that was at home. And the adventure continues when you get to get on the road and just kind of be in that more simple environment. And the van has allowed us to go camping and be under the stars and show Koa all the things that we love. And it also replenishes our spirits because we get to be outside and spend time in nature.